And hello everybody, welcome back to another round of Stationers. My name is Slim, and today, right off the bat, I'm going to go over something that I did the math on, and I'm like, oh my gosh, why have I done this before? So, real quickly, let's go ahead and go to our auto lathe. And the two things I want to show you about is frames. Iron frames versus steel frames. So iron frames take four grams of iron to make the one frame. Oops. For steel, it takes two grams. So you're already able to build one more um, frame versus the iron. Now let's go to sheets real quickly. If we go to iron sheets, it's one gram. We go to steel sheets, it's 0.5. So, what does that mean? Well, I'm not gonna do this everyone because this can get boring real quickly. But I made a spreadsheet out of this and I'm gonna put it up here. Uh, I just wanted to show you this. Basically, how, do, how does this read? So, this basically says iron stacks are 50, coal 50. So that's one full stack of iron and coal. It take, uh, with one stack of iron, you get 50 grams made. With uh, steel, if you make three coal and one, or three iron and one coal, you make 200. So you need four stacks of iron equal to 200. So now, our iron and steel bars are exactly the same at 200 grams a piece. If you go down to the next level, you'll see that iron frames, four grams needed to make one iron frame, which means with the max grams of 200, you can only make 50 frames. Go down to steel. One um, steel frame needs two grams, so max with 200, you can make 100 frames, so you can already double up your frames. Iron sheets, let's go over just a little bit. You'll see that iron sheets, you can make a total with the 200 grams, 200 iron sheets, which can fill 100 frames, iron frames. Steel sheets, you can make 400 steel sheets, which will fill 200 frames. So what does that mean? If we go back up uh, to our right, you'll see that the total number of frames is 50 for iron and 100 for steel means that the total frames that can be filled with sheets is 100 and 200 means that you need another 200 grams to equal those out so no matter what you're going to get 600 grams of something which is to a total of 12 nuggets for that 12 nuggets you'll need either 12 uh, units of iron or 9 units of iron, 9 units or 3 units of coal. But you'll be able to build twice the amount of items. By doing that, you'll be able to build twice the amount of frame networks with steel than you can with iron. So if I had 12 or 9 units of iron and 3 units of uh, coal, I can make 200 frames on yeah 200 frames and have them filled by doing 200 frames and 400 sheets of steel meanwhile if i do the same thing with iron i can only get a hundred frames filled that's a hundred frames plus a 200 sheets of iron so basically by steel you make twice the amount with the same amount of cubes, you just have to go get coal, three units of coal versus nine, uh, 12 units of iron. So I don't know why I haven't done it beforehand. And thank you to Hot Black Destin042 for pointing that out. You are awesome. I can't believe I didn't think about that ahead of time. So. Let's go get steel. <laughs> um, Got to do a couple things. 
Uh, one, we're going to have to eat some uh, food real quickly so that we don't get yelled at by our stuff. Might as well, since we're going to be eating, fill up the water. And today I want to work on getting our logic for our stuff. Oh, one more thing I wanted to point out. Right now... We have this, right? We are in a cold room, 25 degrees, because of the fact that I went and closed this door. So, if you need a quick and easy way to separate your ores, say you didn't get all of it done, you can do this, even though the sun has come up, because of the fact that it's negative. Now, when this actually becomes a true uh, airlock, you're not going to be able to do that anymore because this door will be open and this door will be closed and you'll see that the temperature's already ris risen. Uh, same thing once I get the heating and cooling in here so I can start putting my hydroponics up, um, I'm not going to be able to do that anymore. Uh, going over things that I need to go over. We're going to switch you. Now, I panicked last time. I could have just opened that up from right here, but I didn't. So. And. There's a bunch of different things that we want to get done today. So. Tell you what, actually. Let's. Let's toss all you guys right here. Just to get them out of the way. Hmm, okay. Just getting them out of the way. Now, I wanted the lead so I can do solder. Uh, I'm just going to let you know that right now. I wanted the lead to do solder, but I've noticed something that our steel and silicon are 8% or 8 grams. We have no steel or sil silicon anywhere else. Um, I do need iron even though I'm not going to be doing iron sheets anymore or iron frames anymore. I'm going to be doing steel. Still do need... Come on. Oh, that's not going to let me do that. I right, still do need iron because items need iron to uh, make things. So I'm going to need silicon. I don't think I'm going to need it just yet for what I want to do today, though. Um. Gold copper. Gold copper. Gold copper. Okay. So I don't need it for what I'm going to do today. But I need to kind of reset this. Um, let's put back on the passive because I haven't... Uh, Got everything set up just yet. We're going to need to get cables eventually. Like, there's a lot of stuff that we're going to need. But to do that, we're going to need... Of course. Might as well just pop these out. And open. Now, the only downside is I'm wasting a lot of the gases that I could be saving by going into here and putting them on in. That's, that's a downside. That will eventually stop here soon. But right now, I just want to get this thing kind of opened up so I can start getting copper, gold, and... 
get something else up today. Alright, so it's about to be two, which is our equilibrium. Okay, so I know I kicked them all out and I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for that. Um, no, I don't want you, not yet. Um, boom, boom. I want to do up all of you and you. Get iron. Any more copper anywhere? I don't see any more. None over here. Alright, copper it is. Let's go. Oh, another thing I want to do. This kind of got messed up. I don't mind the purple. It's just to me, I don't want it as that. Which means I will have to fix this real fast. Um, be small. And output. Wait. Oh, never mind. Oh, it is small. I, was, I got confused because it says um, cycle two LED small. I'm like, wait a second, what are, what are you doing? And then turn you back on. Green, yay, okay. Focus. Let's get our ices up. And let's do it again. And one more because I want to make sure that it's going to sit for a while real quickly. Boom, boom. And we'll have to eventually go back out and get more volatiles. But actually, soon, we'll be getting our gas from that. So we won't have to actually do, and I just realized I need to drop this down one and that goes up one. But that's neither here nor there for right now. Let's get our copper going. Pink. Gold. Okay. Now. I wonder if I can get the silver done as well. So I will need for silver. I know that something requires silver eventually. Just want to get that out of the way. Okay, real quickly, let's take a look at ingots for solder. And let's go back to our so it's a 0 0.5, it needs to be between 5 and, or 350 to 550, so it's at 748, way too hot right now, and between 1 and 100. So the pressure is good, 
Temperature, not so good. So we'll come back to you. We'll wait. All right. So today, we're going to be putting up the logic for the solar so that our solar panels are going to be facing the sun. So what are we going to need? Well, we're going to need four logics. So one, two, three, four, I believe. Two memories and two processor units. So let's go ahead and get those up. So, logic, there we go, we're going to need four of you guys, and we're going to need lots of cable today. There's one, Two, three, and make sure they don't mess it up. Four, we need two memories. One, there's two, and then we need two processors. Okay. Oh, oh. I need you. There's that. There's that. And there's that. Okay. We will need cable. We will also need our sensor. And if I have them, just because I have them, we're going to need the iron frame so that we can put it on there. Now, I did say yes at the beginning of this. I'm going to go steel. But we have some iron frames. I don't want to build the steel just yet. We need just this one right now just so that we can build our logic up. So, only one iron sheet. Okay, one iron sheet. I know exactly where to put that. This one right here. Okay, and actually for right now, I'm going to put you here and you here. Okay, let's get our coils. Ah, 50 shall do us for right now. Okay, another thing I'm going to do, well, actually, yeah, I'm going to do it. I can always change them back. Um, I'm going to make our logic for the solar panels green so that they stand out. We'll move that back later. Okay, so... The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to place down two readers, okay? Now, the readers, whoops, I clicked the wrong button. Oh, I clicked the wrong button again. Okay, the readers are going to be here and here. Those are the logic readers. Next. We're going to put two math or two memory units up. Memory unit here and here. Next, 
We're going to put two math units up. Alright, so we need the math, uh, logic math unit. Okay, here and here. Next, we're going to need two writers. Okay, logic writers. One here, one here. Alright, so that's going to be your logic uh, setup. Now, let's just go ahead and get these things lined up. I do the center ones because of the fact that no matter what, uh, the center is going to take all of this. And you, and you, and... Actually, whoops, I did that wrong. And dropping down. Yeah, that, because that one hooks into that. That, 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 that. And now we need the curves. And that one there. And I believe now we just go back to this. And oh, I need that curve one down there. And and that is whoop nope, that's not all she wrote. I need one for there and one for there. There, that's all she wrote. That is our logic setup. And that way, what that does is that does, that just basically feeds all to itself and will feed for power. Okay, now, the one thing that's different, okay, that's east, that's south, that's north. On, on my other video, basically, I had it to where the... Um, Actually, let's do it this way. I had it to where it was on the west side, and I had it facing north. This one, I'm going to have it on the east side, and I'm also going to have it face north. Now, eventually, I'm thinking about moving those to this row. I really am thinking about moving those over row. Um, because of the fact that it'll make things a little bit easier. But for right now, we're just going to go with what we got. Remember to make it so that your daylight sensor faces north. That'll just make things a whole lot easier. So unfortunately, now we've got to go around. And off. This makes it go, it may go down so much either. Alright. So now, the solar logic is hooked up. Okay. We are also almost out of cable. Let's go get more cable. See, so that was 50 that I made. We're now got three left. So that whole thing took almost all. So cable. And just let that start going. So now what we need to do is we're going to cross this around there and up there. And then we got to uh, cable all of this. So that is the next major thing that we got to do. Um, that solder, oh speaking of which.
Temperature at 600. I need the temperature to be 550. Oh, so close. We're very close to having solder, so I gotta wait for that. Okay, everybody in. Oh, what do you got going on here? Boom, 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 boom. And we'll pick up like almost another 50 of them because, well, we'll need them. And I'm not worried about the different color. The different color doesn't really do anything. It basically just helps you separate. So I could put a green one right here and it won't do anything different to the wire itself. It'll just be color green. Okay, one more. All right. So let's go with the next thing. Now also, another thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to feed this into that. But we'll come to that when we get to it. So... Let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Doesn't mean I'm going to have to do it anyways. Now the only thing that I'm wondering is whether or not it will still work with the logic the way I have it set up. Or if I'm going to have to change the add to the subtract. So if you have your logic on the wrong side uh, when you set it up, and we'll go over this in just a bit, um, there's a add subtract in one of the math units. All you do is just change it from add to subtract and it'll fix it. <laughs> so close. Alright, so that was almost, that was another stack of 50, well, almost 50. I'll make three and now I'll make a stack of 50. Um, one, two, three. So that, this will be a hundred cable to give you an idea of what you need. And if you have colored, all you have to do is this. And put that there. And look, they're all green. Okay, up. So we're gonna need more than just three. We'll need one, two, three, four, five. So we'll need a hundred and two. Really got to work on. Good thing I got a lot of copper. Might as well. Come back to that in a second. Come on. And upsy daisy. Boom. 102 cables down. Let's go this way. Look at that. Hey, easy walk up. Okay. Stop. Grab one. Toss it in. And. There we go, 43. We'll make another, uh, make another 50 of them. So. Seven, eight, 
nine, fifty. Okay, real quickly. Hopefully we haven't lost our ability to do solder just yet. It's at 560. 59, and we need to get it to 550. So close, yet so far away. Alright, well we'll get soldered today. Which means we'll be able to make another APC. Okay. So, you can even set it up without the thing. So, what I recommend is doing this. Whatever you set here, whether it is your vertical or your horizontal, you could do it across the board. Now, your vertical will need all of this. Your horizontal can go just straight across. And actually, something else I'm going to do to make life a lot easier is pull this thing out. So this will just make things a whole lot easier. Okay. So what I always do is I make the vertical, the top, the horizontal, the bottom. So if I type, if I do this, I will just name it vert, and just the beginning of horizontal. So hors. <laughs> ah, but here. This one is going to be 1.5. This one is going to be 75. This one is going to be math unit 1. So math 1. This one's going to be math 2. Now, this is your just so we can separate them. Your vert writer. And this is your horizontal writer. Okay. They've all been labeled. Now, I believe with this I can set 1.5. Hey, yep, that's now set at 1.5. And this I can set at. 75. It makes things a lot easier versus having to go in with your uh, screwdriver and doing that. But we, we'll go over on how to do those anyways. Alright, so this is going to come from your daylight center. So real quickly, I'm going to just do this to cut down the amount of things that I have to go through. Alright, so your daylight sensor. This is going to be your daylight sensor. And we'll do the horizontal actually first because it's the easiest one to do. So, all you want to do is read horizontal, then come on over to here. You're going to read the horizontal logic. You're going to put this into. Uh, now we need these. Okay, let's come back to finishing that in a second. So what you're going to do though is you're going to put horizontal here and the horizontal um, to the solar panel right here. So the solar panel will be there, horizontal will be there. But since I don't have the whole solar panels hooked up anymore, it won't let me do that part. So let's get into the math part. So your vertical is actually going to come to this. So this is your vert reader, so the vert reader. We're going to do add, whoops, and that was actually already on add. Add, so if you need, ever go above, just hit the control button and it goes back down. So add, and here you're going to add your 75. And then it's going to come out and it's going to go all the way down to here, so this will be math 1. Did not mean, oh, I did not rename that one. Okay, hold on a second. Just so we can stay for some co our consistency's sake. Math 1, confirm. Math 2, just so I can stay with consistency and that way I hopefully don't lose you. Okay, so. Math 1 comes in, gets divided by 
1.5. Okay, so that comes out over to here and that will be math two. So now let's hook back up our solar panels so that we can finish the math or finish the uh, stuff. So this is going to be solar panel. This is going to be the horizontal. So now the horizontal comes in, tells our solar panels we need to go to there. This is going to be math for our vertical. So we need to find the solar panels and we need to tell it, I want you to pull out the vertical. So as you can see, right now nothing is happening due to the fact that it's not powered, it's not hooked up. We're uh, kind of at a standstill for a moment. And have we reached it? Yes, we have. So let's do this real fast. Um, I'm gonna make a lot of solder here. So basically it's a, in a sense it's a one-to-one, -one, but you only need 0.5, if I remember right, right? Yeah, 0.5 lead, 0.5 iron. So it's a one-to-one. -one. And if I do drop that in, let's see, iron. Uh-oh, hold on. Okay, good. I was like, it didn't make iron. What's going on? So this makes solder. And as you can see, we have I'm getting greedy. I'm probably going to uh, end up regretting this decision here. Ah, oh, never mind. We have 300 units of solder. So, with that solder, toss that in, and real quickly, I'm going to make my first. Where are you? I want to see the code control. There it is, power control kit. We're gonna make a power control kit. Now this power control kit is going to be the battery backup. Don't wanna make another one. This power control kit is gonna be the battery backup for the logic. I don't really desperately need it because as you can see we have this, but if I say I turn that on and forget about it and drain all my power, then I will have at least a battery backup to have something. Um, oh, hey, um, I can't place this on you. Ooh. Um, okay. Well, that kind of sucks. We're definitely going to have to fix that. Okay. But, the sun is also coming up. Um, we need some heavy cable real quick. Do I have heavy cable? I actually do have heavy cable. Never mind. I want a good day of... Now normally I would also hook up a transformer just so that I can make sure that if I do eventually hook up a ton of these I'm not going to overload it but I honestly don't think I would overload the system. I have not done it yet as of today. <laughs> Knock on wood. Okay, so. Oh, we're definitely fixing that. Give me one second. And you, you, and you, and you, 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 and 
you. Okay, turn you on. Now there's no battery backup in there just yet, so we turn this one on. Oh, there has to be a battery in there. I did not know that. Oh, hey, you know what? I got a battery on me. Guess what? Right here. And I turn this on. Did that sensor? Horizontal? What? Oh, I know what I did wrong. Can anyone guess? what Slim did. Uh, let's give you a little bit of an idea. He basically put this backwards. Hendro, um, that's what I have. Oh, hey, Hendro has no power. Why don't you know? Okay. See, it goes that way. Now we need to go this way. Voila. <laughs> we need to go get our, um, crowbar which we left there because I was like oh I'll just come back and get it and toss you in here turn you on voila look hey that's there okay so move these out so that you know that you don't have to have in your hand put that on and logic is kinda on but not doing anything so what are you missing? Daylight center. Oh, you go to. Because I changed the name on it. You go to. Oh, yeah, never mind. You just read the vertical. Vert, vert. So you to you. And then we turn you on. And everybody should. If I did this right, everybody should be tracking. Are you all hooked up? Some of them are tracking. Some of them are not. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So like, as you can see, some of them are tracking. The ones that were straight up are now moving. So that this one's tracking, this one's not. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Okay, um, why are you all not working together? I don't think it's gonna be the logic is the issue because like I said that one is I had to have missed something because that one is going that one isn't And none of those are going. Only the one is going. Oh, wait a second. I know why. I know why. I know why. I did the same mistake last time. Guess what? See these? These are logic writers. Guess what they need to be? They need to be batch writers. Alright, so. Logic batch writer logic batch writer oh I did it again okay and we need to put you with the horizontal oops horizontal you read out to the solar panels and you read the horizontal boom everybody turn yay Okay, you read the vertical from math 2, 
you go out to the solar panel and you read the vertical and everybody turn everybody all together now there we go everybody's doing it now everything is up and running and look at this we have all of our solar panels now this one over here though is also a backup of the backup so when the sun comes up if for some odd reason say the power is out this is a backup power to put some charge in the battery that will then feed to the APC and then hopefully get these things to move it's a backup of the backup so redundancy in this game is probably the best thing you can do so our solar is now up and running we will now get charges like none other so this can now probably run for a while and not drain this thing except at night time um, yay one thing down another one bites the dust okay and because of the fact that I know that they're getting low I know you were already low and Oh, you're actually not that low. And let's go ahead and... No, you're actually pretty good. Ah, right. how about you? Oh yeah, you definitely need to be changed. And... Next on the list... Well, actually, I want to... Oh, that's tracking. That, that's atmospheric. Tracking, atmosphere. Yeah, basically, take a look how much of a drain that is. I'm still getting 100% across all my solar panels, right? Because I have that on, and I, of course, I got some batteries draining. This is already down. <laughs> so, yeah, that thing drains. That thing is a killer to your battery. Okay, so. I guess we could start fixing this. What are you doing here? I didn't say you could be here. Go away. There we go. I didn't say you guys could be here. How are you? Anyway, it's on 60%. Let's, let's do this. Let's get you a 100% battery. There you are. Everybody's charging something. Okay. Okay, now. Oh, hey, you know what? Let's turn that off. We have solder. We have copper. We have gold, we have silver. Oh, I know what I was going to do. There was also another thing I saw on another um, person that does YouTube for Stationer and trying to find his name real fast. Because he gave me an excellent idea that I thought that I was like, oh my gosh, I have never thought of that before. And I want to at least give him some credit for that. Um, just because I've never thought of doing this. I've always thought of, okay, I need to hold on to it. And it is uh, Pox the Viking. And I'll put one of his videos that kind of where I got that idea from. I'll put that in an iCard that will show up right here. And what it is, is adding a stacker unit. So, a stacker unit needs iron and copper. Oh, speaking of which, uh, in the last video, 
for the weather, I also did not give credit where credit was due. And that would have been to uh, Greener65, who gave me the idea for the weather station. Now, this part I have added to, you know, shut that thing off. Um, because otherwise, when it goes off, it's just going to be going, and it, go, and it just restarts, restarts, restarts. But I now made it so I can shut it off. <laughs> Just because of the fact that, yeah, you know what, it's great when a storm's coming in, but I want to be able to, and I should have built that while I was talking. Uh, I wanted to make it to where I can turn it off if necessary. So, the stacker. Why a stacker? Well, what we do with the stacker is, and we'll put it over here, because it's A, the easiest to... Uh, get set up but what I can do with the stacker is so the max number of ingots or the max size of an ingot is uh, 500 so if I put this to 500 and say I had a max size ingot of 500 uh, let's see, who do we have? We have copper, we have steel, we have gold, silicon. So, let's say the solder. The solder, most recently one I messed with. So, solder. So, say I needed, say this is iron, and I'm trying to make solder, and I have a 500 stack of iron, but I only have 50 units of solder. Well, I can move this down and yes it does take a little bit of work so but I can move this down to 50 turn this on and it will toss out 50 units so then I could just do that or I could have made it instead of making it 50 Uh, let's go back up to 500. Okay, so there's 260. Plus 37. So, let's say... Let's say I needed three or let's say I had 300 in here, okay? And I was like, hey, you know what? I just need 50 units. So all I do is just toss it down to 250 or from 500 down to 450. Turn this on, tosses out 250, and then whatever's left over is should be what equals. It's kind of hard since I don't have a full stack to show exactly what's going on, but it's just something that I thought was awesome, a great idea. Um, I wish I had a like a an even. Um, there's one. There's 25, but I'm not gonna do that one. Um, I mean, you guys probably get the point. Oh, hey, let's take a look at. This thing, how much do you have in there? You have uh, 19. It says here that we're at 710. So let's go ahead and open this and toss that in there. Drops down to four. We're gonna get it up to five. And then we'll call that, and we'll just let that drain into there. So we have now filled up our welding torch we have got our logic set up it's kind of been a busy day and gone over the whole thing of the steel revolution like oh my gosh I can't believe I've been doing this practically killed our full battery um, with that let's go ahead and call it for today 
So do me a favor, if you liked what you saw for this round, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Other than that, I wish you all the best of time. Hopefully these videos have been helping you get your stuff set up. And thank you to those that have helped show me the certain things that I've been now implementing in my base and help me make things a lot better and easier. This uh, That's what this whole video series is about. It's about basically sh helping you see things that might be easier or let you know that, hey, you're not the only one that makes mistakes. I make mistakes too. Other than that, you take care and I will see you all next time.